Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting for me. It is a haul slash first impression slash mini review of the new Fiona Styles makeup line that is available at Ulta. I believe it's been there for about almost a week now. Um, a lot of you might be going, who, what? Um, Basically, Fiona Styles is a celebrity makeup artist who has been around for a really long time. She is an OG makeup artist with the likes of Monica Blunder and Patti Dubroff. Um, basically, makeup artists that were so popular and so great. I mean, they still are, but most young people don't know who they are because now they have all these Instagram artists that they worship. And before Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, we actually had to get our inspiration from actual magazines. We had to buy magazines or watch music videos and we would see makeup that we thought was gorgeous and we'd have to somehow find out, hopefully in the magazine listed who did their makeup. But all the time, most of the time it was um, like Francesca Tolot or Tolot, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but um, all these makeup artists that you don't even really hear about anymore because they're so kind of pushed to the side um, for, you know, not that they're bad, but these other Instagram artists, um, you know, that are all young and like they weren't even around back when um, these artists had their heydays. I mean, they're all still phenomenal artists and I respect them so much and I admire their work so much. Uh, Fiona is, again, just an incredible makeup artist. Just beautiful, beautiful work. She's worked with some of your favorite um, celebrities and she's recently come out with this line and I was intrigued by it so I went over to Ulta today and I was playing with everything and I didn't have super high expectations even though I think she's a great makeup artist sometimes people will just put their name on something and it's not even that great but I was so impressed by what I, I was literally getting excited like my heart was racing and I was like oh, I wanted to buy so much stuff but I had to limit myself I'm like I'm sure you some of you do this too you're like you're adding up in your head how much you're spending you're like oh can I get one more thing or oh no maybe I shouldn't and um, so there was more I wanted to buy but I wanted to buy the key products that the majority of you would be interested in like the foundation eyeshadow palette maybe a lip product so the look I have on right now I basically I've mentioned in other videos that I don't like to do first impression videos or just not my favorite I feel like you need to give a product a chance before you give your opinion on it but I was just so dang excited about this that I had to come home and do this video for you. And this is the look I came up with. So I'm gonna show you step by step. This is gonna be kind of a long video because um, there's a talk through on how I got this look, a little mini review of each product and just my thoughts as I was shopping. So if you're interested, I know I'm talking so fast, I'm just so excited. Um, if you're interested in hearing about the new Fiona Styles makeup line from a completely unbiased um, person, I'm just a makeup lover, a makeup artist, makeup lover, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way. These products were not sent to me as I've already mentioned, um, I bought them at Ulta today. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So this is exactly how I went to Ulta. I have a full face of makeup on, including lashes, um, just because I'm so excited to show you the products I got. And I know some of you makeup junkies out there do this too. When you get new stuff, you wanna come right home and try it out. And I was just so excited by everything. And I'm so excited to share this with you and give you my thoughts and everything. So I have no idea what kind of look I'm gonna do. I'm totally winging this. But the first thing I have to do is remove what I have on. So first things first, I gotta take the earrings out. And then we're going to tie the hair back. Gotta take off the lashes gently. Take a makeup wipe. So I decided to leave my brows on just for sake of time and now I'm using my Wet n Wild Shadow Primer. And then I'm also going to use the Mineral Veil, not Mineral, just the Veil, well it's a Mineral Primer, Veil Primer from Hourglass. It is soft ochre paint pot all over the lid. So 
this is the quad that I got. It is called Topanga, and this is the packaging. It's really, really pretty. It's like this kind of purpley blue color, and it comes with, you know, little applicators, which I probably will never use, but it also has a mirror, so that's really nice. And I liked these colors because they're very neutral, and I thought they'd be really pretty against my bluish greenish eyes. So the first shade I'm going to use is this um, white, uh, this ivory shade. Looks like it has a little bit of soft shimmer to it. And I'm going to place that all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. to do is I'm going to take some tape and this is going to go right on an angle this just really helps me get a nice sharp line and that's kind of what I'm feeling today a nice crisp angled line it also really helps for those of us with downturned eyes to have everything kind of lift upward I'm going to take this kind of light taupey shade and then using a flat shader brush I'm just going to place that on my lid all the way to the crease as you can see these shadows are really really pigmented Now this is one of my favorite brushes. This is from Samey Beauty and it's the 2.5 brush. It's a small tapered brush. I'm gonna go in with this really gorgeous kind of shimmery reddish plum. And I'm gonna drag that right along, almost like I'm making an eyeliner toward my eye. And doing that outer corner work. And the tape is going to, like I said, going to really help me get that nice upward angle. These shadows are so pigmented. I'm so impressed. So her line does have eye pencils. I'm not one f to purchase eye pencils. I'm more of a liquid liner or powder girl, but they did look very, very nice. Um, today I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner just because I'm just feeling the wing today. So um, let's do a wing using, this is just a generic black eye, um, eye marker. I cannot find my Stila one. I cannot find my Kat Von D. I cannot find my NYX one. Like I have all these liquid eyeliners and they just disappeared. So this is just one that I got at the swap meet when I stocked up on my lashes for my kit. So as you can see, the shadows do have some fallout, but you can use a shadow shield or some tape. I think it's just because, or the you know the tape's gonna help catch it. I think it's just because they're they're so pigmented um, that they do have just a little bit of fallout. So I went ahead and finished the eyeliner off camera just because you guys know it takes me forever to do my eyeliner. So let's move on to the face. I should mention that there were four or five different eyeshadow quads and they were all so beautiful. I really had a hard time picking. There's like two of them that are more like colorful. Like there's a one that's all blues. There's one that's like um, jewel tones, just really, really gorgeous. Um, I obviously went for a more neutral one, but there was one that had like some coppers and stuff that I'm definitely going to get next time for $28 for four shadows and the pigmentation that you're getting. I'm definitely going to be picking up another one of those quads for sure. So 
Um, now onto the foundation. The foundation, there were two different kinds of foundations. One was a more luminous kind um, for our drier skin. And of course, for me, having the oily skin, I went for the matte formula. This is um, matte finish foundation concentrate. And what it said on the, um, on the little, uh, on the little kiosk or little area, basically it said that it was color adapting, um, light, luminous, even though it was matte, it was kind of um, line softening, uh, pore refining. It basically sounded, it had all the words that I personally look for when I'm choosing a foundation. And I was a little concerned because I, I purchased shade number five. I think there was maybe about nine shades, like um, one to nine and so I looked at uh, six first because I've been doing a lot of self tanning and I know going towards summer I'll be darker. So I looked at six and it was really, really dark. So then I jumped up to four and that was kind of, I think, too light. So I ended up purchasing five. I just, I wasn't sure because it did also look a little dark. It seemed like there was a very big jump between four and five, which was a little disconcerting because I was like, oh, four is gonna be too light and I feel like five is gonna be too dark, but it did say it was color adapting. So I personally would rather have my foundation be a little bit darker and bring it down on my neck or wherever I have to. I hate when a foundation is too light. I hate when you take a picture, or somebody takes a picture and their face is really white from just the foundation not matching uh, their skin um, or just maybe it matches um, in person, but when that flash hits it, it just kind of comes off as a little too white. So that's my personal preference to go a little bit darker and just blend. So what I do like, I did have a little bit a hard time um, putting the cap back on when I was at the store, but now I'm doing it just fine. I don't know what my problem was there. But um, again, I'm in number five, matte foundation. It does come with a pump, which if you've seen my foundation reviews, I love a pump. Bravo, Fiona, for putting a pump with your foundation. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender. I haven't had no training on this line. I am just flying by the seat of my pants here and just, um, I don't know if there's a preferred way to put this on. Um, there might be a way that she recommends putting this foundation on. I'm gonna use a beauty blender because that is my preferred method for most foundations. So I'm gonna start with um, two pumps. Okay. The consistency is kind of thick, kind of like whipped liquid. So it's a little bit thicker than like your Studio Fix fluid. It's not running down my hand or anything, which is nice. Um, it is very yellow toned, which I personally like. I didn't really check to see if you fair skins with pink undertones would have a match, but I would think so. I mean, being Fiona, being somebody who's worked on thousands and thousands of faces over the years, you'd think that she would know um, the type of tones to use. And it does say that it's color adaptive, so let's see. So I'm using a damp beauty blender, and all I have on is my Hourglass primer. So as you can see, it's Definitely more yellow. I have a little bit of self tan um, still going on. The coverage is medium, I would say. Now, I never do my foundation, which is why I don't like first impressions of foundations because I personally don't do ever do my foundation with this type of light coming at me. Um, so this is new for me. Um, my pores don't look bigger. I just have big pores, unfortunately. But it's not like making them disappear either. I'm going over again. This is my area that I struggle with, that I have um, pigmentation from past breakouts. So, yeah, it's definitely not full coverage. I don't think it professes to be full coverage. And definitely on the more olivey, yellowy side. But it has a nice finish. It has like a natural skin type finish. It's not super matte though. I mean, look at it. Definitely has a sheen going on here. dark for me, but I'm just gonna have to go uh, use some more self tanner tonight. Um, but I think my skin looks good. I guess it's going to be a matter of how is it going to hold up because that's always my issue is how is it going to hold up through the day. And I am going to powder it because I just feel like I need to powder this. It's too um, dewy for my taste knowing that I'm going to get so oily. 
So definitely not the mattest finish I would I would have thought. Okay, so this is the foundation on. I'm not gonna powder yet. I'm gonna wait to powder um, until I've done like my concealer and everything. So um, she did have a really nice looking concealer in a pot. It's supposed to be long wearing. Um, the shade ranges are supposed to match up. Like if your foundation is a five, you're supposed to get the five in um, the concealer as well. Obviously it's very trendy right now to use a brighter concealer underneath the eye. I almost bought one, but I bought the brightener instead, which you'll see in a second, because I do really um, like my NARS concealer, so I'm gonna use that right now in the shade Vanilla. Um, I probably should have mentioned the foundation is $30 for a um, one ounce, which is, I think, great. So again, foundation and concealer are on. I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm going to set my under eyes with my Mana Kadar C2 Press Powder. I just really like this powder for setting my under eye area. I always go back to it and I'm gonna set the areas of my face that I want highlighted. And you know what, I really should not have just done that because I wanted to show you the highlighter pen that I got, so that was dumb. Okay, so because I did that, um, I still am gonna show you the highlighter pen. This powder is very light, it's not gonna, um, I think you'll still get the brightening effect. When I tested it at the store, I already had concealer and powder on too, and it still worked, so um, I think you should still be able to get the effect. And I am still gonna go back to the eyes. Let's just do the rest of the face and then go back to the eyes. So this product, is um, supposed to be one of her standout products. It is her contour palette. She also has a highlight palette, but because I am like overwrought with highlighters in my stash, I passed on that. But these contour, um, this uh, sheer sculpting palette really intrigued me because they're more kind of like to the neutral taupey shade. And I saw on another video, I don't know if you guys watch Jamie Greenberg, but she is um, a, another celebrity makeup artist. She works with Kaylee Cuoco and some other um, great stars. And um, she did a video on this line that I did watch. And she, oh, Elizabeth Banks, who's like one of my favorite actresses. She's the, she directed um, Pitch Perfect and she's uh, blonde, just really, really uh, beautiful woman anyway. Um, she does, Fiona does her makeup and was saying that this light shade, this is a light medium, it also comes in medium dark, that the light shade she uses on Elizabeth Banks to contour and it actually, you look at it and think, mm, that's not going to do anything, but especially with fair skins, this is probably going to be great for you. Um, so again, I'm in the light medium. I love, again, the packaging and I think this was like $28. I will put all the prices down below. I'm going to go, let's try the light one first. Let's just see what happens. So it does show up. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it is giving me a nice light, light contour. And that's what Fiona said in that video, is that contouring has gotten so extreme and dramatic and just not even realistic, especially in day-to-day -day life. And we're not all going to photo shoots and we're not all filming YouTube videos. So let's take it down a notch and, and be more realistic in our contour. And I think that's where she was getting at with this palette is to just um, reel it back in and do some nice, pretty everyday makeup and not try to change our entire face structure. So I'm actually gonna go into the medium one just to see what the difference is. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm really liking this palette. Now I am feeling like the foundation is a little foundation-y, like it's just a little, I don't know, I can really see my pores and I don't know, definitely gonna have to update you on this one. And then for the side of my nose, which we all know how much I love my wonky nose, I'm gonna take that lighter shade and see what happens. Because I always feel like when I contour my nose, it's so noticeable. And actually, I feel that when I see a lot of people contour their nose, even in Instagram photos and even when I watch classes online, um, I feel like I can still see the nose contour. So this is great. I'm loving this palette. Like, I really, this is definitely a keeper. 
Well, as is that shadow quad. I mean, I'm obsessed with that. It's the foundation I'm a little iffy about. Maybe I use too much. Maybe that's why, again, I don't really like foundation first impressions. Um, I'm going to definitely maybe do a full review on the foundation if you guys want after I've worn it for like four or five days. Okay, so as I mentioned, I didn't buy her highlight palette, which had three shades of, um, again, like very sheer, subtle highlight. So I am going to use um, something I have that's similar um, from Laura Mercier, which is her highlight 01. It's our matte highlight, even though it's not really matte. No, it's not matte. Yeah, matte radiance baked powder. I'm going to use this because it's of my, all my high, uh, of. Oh, I can't speak of all the highlighters I own. It's the most subtle and realistic, which again um, was something Fiona said was her aesthetic, where she liked a real subtle contour and a subtle highlight. I didn't buy any of her blush either, although they were very pigmented and very beautiful because again, so many blushes in my stash, I just could not justify. I wanted just to get things that um, more people would be interested in knowing about because I'm gonna use this Tarte blush in Exposed just very lightly. And then now I'm taking that uh, Laura Mercier Baked Highlight and just adding a little glow here and here. Okay, back to the eyes. Now I'm going to take this um, Sigma E47 brush and I'm going to go into the brownish plumish shade that I have not used yet. And I'm going to take that and just using the tip of the brush, I'm going to just ever so gently darken that outer corner. And as always, bringing it out, up and out. Now using a now using a Sigma E15 flat brush, I'm going to go into that same color. And I do have a little bit of uh, shadow on from um, earlier today. I'm sorry about that. But I'm just pressing that color under the lower lash line. And just because I already have some left over from earlier today, I'm going to put back in my um, Inglot Gel Eyeliner in black in the inner rim of the eye. Now I'm taking a pencil brush. This is a MAC. I don't know because the numbers have come off of it. And then I'm gonna go into that more shimmery burgundy shade and smudge out the bottom. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Laura Mercier highlight and just add that to the inner corners of my eyes in the tear duct. I'm gonna curl my lashes, add some mascara, and add my lashes back, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. I touched up the brows a little bit. These are the eyes, complete. But I do wanna show you this product right here. It is the Light Illusion Perfecting Brightening Stilo. I got the shade Apricot, which is three, four. Um, there was like neutral, or brightening, or apricot. I don't know, I just feel like um, I tried a couple of them and the brightening one made the most um, impact. Let's see how many clicks it takes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I know from working from Stila with a little quick lip glosses, sometimes it can take a while. There we go. There it comes. All right. So now I'm going to go right. This is where I have like super dark circles. So I got quite a bit out there, so I'm gonna do about that much on each side. And then I'm actually gonna use my finger to blend it out instead of the beauty blender. And I just felt like at least at the store, it really, really made a difference in my under eye area. And I still think it does. I think it really brightened things up. Ooh, I like. 
So there we have the brightener, and I think that really does um, make a difference in my under eye area. I think it really um, brightened me up <laughs> like it's supposed to. So Okay, so we're almost done. The last product is a lip product. She had great lip choices. Um, but I was really intrigued by these uh, Color Impact Satin Lip Crayons. The shade I got is Zuma. There was another one I wanted that I almost got, started with an H, I can't remember the name. I'll look it up and put it down below. But it was a little bit more peachy mauve, and I loved it. I loved it. But then I put this one on, and I thought, well, let's stick with something that's more um, kind of neutral comfort zone. So this is the shade Zuma. It's just a neutral pink. And I like that you can basically draw your lip with this. You don't even need a lip liner. And this shade is called Zuma. Love it. I absolutely love this. So as I said, you can leave it right here. You don't need a lip liner, but because I am lip liner obsessed, I'm going to go use my NYX um, lip liner pencil in, pencil, pencil in the shade Ever. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. Once again, I used the foundation, the contour palette, the eyeshadow quad, the eye brightening pen, and the satin lip pencil. Is that right? Foundation, shadow, yeah. Um, so overall, I have to say I am loving everything. Absolutely loving everything. The foundation is a little questionable, but that's only down here in this light. When I went, I had to run upstairs because I didn't have my brow product to touch up my brows. And when I was in that lighting upstairs, which is more natural light, and also, you know, sometimes you just have to look in different lights with foundation. Um, it actually looked pretty good. It looked better than it did under these um, hot, bright lights. And actually, I don't know. I'm kind of liking the way it looks. So I think I just might keep everything. Um, I wasn't sure. And luckily, Ulta has a great return policy. But um, I still wanted to buy what was within my budget. And with this price point, you really can um, get more stuff than you could going to Estee Lauder even or um, probably even, maybe not Clinique, but I don't know. The price point was just really impressive. So thank you, Fiona. If you ever see this video, thank you so much for pricing it that we can all hopefully afford a few luxury pieces of makeup um, and selling it at Ulta that has a phenomenal return policy. I just, uh, um, I just, I'm really, really impressed. I can't emphasize that enough. So definitely if you live near an Ulta, check it out. Check out the line. Have fun with it. I think you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up. And as always, if you have not already, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Risa Does Makeup. Do comment, do ask questions. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.